Hello everybody and welcome to more of my back to school special. As always, this is your host Gunsage and today we are playing Science Girls. Yeah. Alright, let's just uh let's get started. Uh name uh, Well we'll do Sajia since it's such a popular name. Science Psychology likes pizza horses and modern art. I don't get to Hang on, hang on. No, hang on, hang on. What? I I just wanted to... Alright, it doesn't matter. Let's do standard. Alright. It's been half an hour since the end of school bell rang, and the halls have gone quiet. The only people still on campus are teachers wrapping up work and students with extracurricular activities. As presidents of the science club, it's my job to get the classroom uh, to get the classroom first <clears throat> and make sure everything is ready for our meeting. The other girls have been out saying goodbye to their friends or working on their own projects. Hi, Sajia! Jennifer represents the science of biology. She's also the vice president of the club and tends to be bossy. Why are you wearing that mask? It's an experiment. Oh, right. My science, of course, is psychology. I have to keep them on their toes. Andrea is getting snacks, and I saw Heather downstairs. I think she was playing a video game. I'm sure everyone will be here soon. Suddenly, from outside, we hear the sound of screams, like a pack of overexcited fans rushing to a rock star. What's going on? We peer out the window to see... It's the teachers! What looks like an oversized carrot has seized hold of Miss Bullfinch's hair. I've heard her shriek in math class, but never like that. Look! One of them's got Mr. Breyer's toupee! <laughs> I didn't know he wore a toupee. It's a good one. It's made of real hair. And I know hair. Miss Bullfinch, sw Bullfinch swings her full-size Teacher's Edition textbook at the carrot, and it moves to dodge her blow. Yeah, right about here. What are those things? Let's get down there and see if we can help. Right. I head for the door, but... A MONSTER ATTACKS! Yeah, this game isn't what you thought it was gonna be, is it? Punch the root head. Let's kick the root head! Yeah! Yeah! Ouch! That was great! Hiya! Ha! We sure showed it! But what was that thing? It looks like some kind of killer plant. That's not a plant. What do you mean? It looks like a plant to me. It has roots and leaves. And this is where the game kind of loses me, if it didn't lose you already. Do you even know the difference between a plant and an animal? Um, let's see. Well, plants have rigid cells. With cell walls, that's right. Fungi have cell walls too, but animals don't. Fungi? You mean mushrooms? Aren't they plants? No, they're fungi. It's different. Okay. Anyway, plants can't walk around and attack people. They can't chase things. That's not how plants work. Therefore, that's not a plant. It must be some kind of am amoebazoid or giant slime mold. She pokes at the remains of the mystery monster, all pixelated. I wonder why it attacked us. Maybe it was hungry, or maybe it was looking for something. If this is what went after the teachers, they could be all over the school. The school is being invaded by killer plants! They're not plants! And it's up to us to save the day with the power of SCIENCE! I adjust the mask on my face and dust off my hands. Come on, let's find the others. This is a map of the school. To move around, use the controller, the arrow keys, or left click the mouse in a neighboring square. Rooms will be revealed as you visit dark places on the map. To access the game menu, press button 10 on your controller, the escape key, or click the menu button in the top right corner. From here, you can set options, view character profiles, and even save and load your game. For more help, visit Don't Visit This Website. Actually, I bet I can, yeah, I can just right click too same thing? Yeah, it's the same thing. Alright, so I'm here. Let's uh, check this out. This is room 501. It's a classroom. No shit. We are attacked by a pair of root heads! We killed him and got some root beer! Oh, 
Oh yeah, Shaman in the club with da 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 If Rammstein did techno, it would be better than this. Did I seriously hide behind the other glass paint? Okay, nothing happened. Okay. Uh, let's see. This is the fifth floor of West Stairwell. There's nothing here. Okay. This is room 502. We are attacked by a slurp! You've already got a name for something you haven't even fought yet? Okay. What is this thing? It looks like a retarded Pokemon. Alright. Well, how does this cost 1 SP? I mean, I've got... I don't know. Kick it! No, not miss. Punch the shit out of it! Come on! Don't get down by a slurp! Oh, this is interesting. No, it isn't. I shudder. It's creepy. Flowers aren't supposed to have eyes or tongues. Those might not actually be eyes. Butterflies and fish often have false eye spots to deter predators. For all we know, its eyes are somewhere else, or it doesn't have eyes at all. This is the problem with this game. Maybe it uses stamen-like protrusion as an antenna. A blind monster using its tongue to find me is even creepier than an eyeball flower. Well, if you say out of its mouth, you'd be safe, right? Now let's go look for another! Okay. It's, this is room 504. There's nothing here. Okay. This is lab 506. It was a bio lab for a couple of weeks when the spiders got loose in 505. We were attacked by a pair of Spratlings! Probably heal, huh? Mandarin. Okay, okay. Get him! Come on, man, quit sucking. I'm gonna be really dumb if leveling up causes you to do full recovery or whatever. Kick the shit out of him! Come on! There you go. First aid technique. That's good. You don't have access to special powers. I think you mean SCIENCE! Special powers will use more of your SP than standard attacks do. Choose defend in combat to regain some SP. If all the girls are defending at once, they will receive BONUS SP! You also have level up points. They can be used to improve your stats and strengthen your attacks. And huh! indicator will appear by the menu button when you have unused level up points available. Oh, okay. Oh. Uh, well. I mean, I don't think I'm going to use this very much. Let's see. She's getting the shit knocked out of her pretty easily, so... Might be good to take a defensive stance. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we'll do that for now. That'll work. Supply changes. Okay. Beautiful. Okay. Uh, yeah, let's do that. Yeah. Okay. This is Lab 505. It's a biology lab. We were attacked by a Spratlin! Yeah. What is this Final Fantasy fucking tactics music doing here? Come on, man. Fighting the evil carrot emperor. Yeah. Hooray. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. 
Now let's go. Okay, let's go down. We were attacked by a greater slurp! Oh no! Help! Uh, hypnotize. Okay, punch it. There you go. Kick it! Punch, kick, it's all in the mind! Come on. I mean, it doesn't really seem like that does much. Yuck, I've got slurp slime all over me. Me too. I think it's mostly pro water, probably won't stain. Good thing the little kids have already gone home. They'd be gobbled up whole. We were gobbled up whole. Yeah, but we can take care of ourselves. Suddenly we hear footsteps approaching us, running heavily down the hall. Prepare for battle. She raises her fist and braces against the oncoming monster. What rushes through the door is... A monster! Oh. Hey guys, there you are. Nicole is a science club member, representing the science of PHYSICS! She also runs on the track team. I heard a racket and was worried. I don't like tennis. She reaches out to give Jennifer a hug. Why are you covered in slime? Uh, the school is under attack and it's up to the science club to save the day. Have you seen anything? There's crazy plants all over the place. They're not plants. Well, they're not earth plants. They're alien life forms! That still doesn't make them plants. They don't meet the definition. Nobody fuck cares! Wait, you think these are aliens? You've been reading too much, too much science fiction. Well, they're clearly not machines, and they're clearly not any sort of life I know about. But I don't believe in aliens! Okay. Isn't a scientist supposed to keep an open mind? Yes. A scientist is supposed to search for proof and not jump to conclusions. Well, I'd love to dissect and study these monsters. We'd better find the rest of the club. Okay. Well, two hallway. This is lab 405. We're attacked by true tribides! Before we do that, let's apply this shit. Um. Yeah, let's do that. Okay. Punch! Aw, oh, you bastard. Yeah. Kirk! Yeah. Lightning! <laughs> uh, I don't know. Let's try it. Zappy zappy. There you go, bitch. Damn, that took a lot of SP away. That's okay. She can use some first aid on herself, can't she? There we go. Uh, no, let's just jab. Yeah. Be handy if I knew how much health he had left. It's a lot easier finding those things with you guys to help. They attacked you before? Yeah, but now that I couldn't handle. What were you doing here on your own? Just reading. Reading comic books, you mean? That's still reading, isn't it, Sajia? Uh, yeah. If it has text in it, it's still reading. There you go. So when these creatures attacked you, did you see where they were coming from? Oh, did they land in a rocket ship? Doubt it. It's pretty hard to land a rocket. What do you mean? Well, how does a rocket work? Um... Uh, fuck, I don't... I don't know. A rocket does burn fuel, but so does a car. The rocket engine burns fuel and pushes super hot gas out backward, which makes the whole rocket shoot forward in equal and opposite reaction, much like me after taco night. 
Rockets are good at going in one direction really fast, usually up. If you fired a rocket down at the ground, it would smash into pieces when it hit it. Okay, asshole, but on the same token, have you ever played fucking Lunar Lander? So you have to fire a rocket up to slow down while you fall backwards, which makes it hard to steer. If a rocket landed like that, we'd all hear it coming. There'd be big fires and noise, worse than a plane. Okay, so there wasn't any rocket. We'll have to keep looking and find out how they got here. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. This is room 403. Someone has written, Entrance forbidden! This means you! On the blackboard. We were attacked by a stealth ball! It was not very stealthy if you knew about it. Get him! Or not. Dooch! Fustide. Yeah. Do it. Here we go to a blah blah blah. Uh, let's try a little. Zappy zappy. Okay, so. Yeah, that's helpful. Oh, that's that's no good. How did that stupid thing copy itself like that? I, I knew it! I knew it! Every fucking new enemy, they're gonna try to dissect how this enemy could possibly exist in the real world. Maybe it was reproducing with spores. Spores can grow that quickly? Not usually. I think the copy was a hologram. You saw how it disappeared when we touched it. Yeah, I wish they were all that easy. Because it wasn't really there, it was just light. A hologram is made using interference patterns. <laughs> By beams of coherent light. Coherent light? Uh, you're not exactly being coherent here. Coherent light is light when where all the photons are in sync, so the beam is stronger. The important thing is that seeing is not always believing. It tried to trick us. These monsters are sneaky! So don't take anything for granted. <sighs> you know, I kind of expected more from Hanako games, seriously. Okay, let's keep going. This is room 401, the art room. What happened here? The room is a mess. It doesn't look like a mess to me. Cabinets are hanging open, with papers and bottles of paste turned across the floor. Okay. Artists aren't very organized. This is more than just for getting to clean up cl after class. Someone was searching this room. Maybe somebody was trying to make a weapon? We should ask Andrea if we can. you can do anything nasty with paint, chemically. I see a lot of paint here, but no paintbrushes. Why would someone take the paintbrushes? Because they wanted to paint happy little trees. Dunno, where is Andrea anyway? Last I saw her, she was headed down to the cafeteria. We'd better keep looking. Uh huh. This is the fourth floor west stairwell. We are attacked by a patent of stealth balls. Well, I'm, I'm glad you're not really excited. Act five? Well, not necessarily. I mean, if we determine that they can copy themselves, it may not actually be five. Yeah, that's what I thought. Okay, so we got at least two legit ones. That's a real one. <laughs> Jesus Christ. I mean, it's not like they're all attacking at the same time, but come on. It's still a Oh, fuck you. Come on. Advance! Oh, okay, maybe they can attack all at once. Best soundtrack ever! Ugh, oh, Jesus. 
us. Alright. That was clearly a mistake, just like the people who made this game. Alright. What is this battle music? I tell you, it's catchy. It's fucking catchy, man. Yeah. It's so catchy. Fucking da 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 da. I tell you what, that is the best. It's the fucking best, isn't it? Isn't it though? Yeah. Fucking Christ. Yeah. I would rather listen to the majestic sound of a jackhammer than listen to this fucking music. Ugh. Come on. So really, it's only like... It was only three stealth balls, I guess. I'm gonna have her defend so I can get some of that SP back. Take him down a little bit quicker with the lightning. There we go. Okay, good. Level up. Hooray. That took forever! It'd go much faster if we could knock out all the holograms at once. Okay. Well, let's see. Well, now that I'm not getting slapped around like a little bitch, let's focus on kicking the shit out of people. And she's, she's doing pretty good, too, so... Yeah, let's up the kick power. Apply. Alright. This is Classroom 402. We're attacked by a pair of greatest slurps! Alright. Oh my god, this music! Like, it's not like... It's not like this is the only music track they had, either. They they had a different one earlier, so why not use that one, because holy shit, it was awesome. It was the one that sounded like the Final Fantasy Tactics music. I mean, I know it's five minutes ago, I'm starting to forget it, too, because this is just fucking mind-numbing. Ugh. Motherfucker! This music! If you can call it that... Jesus. Yeah. So, alright, the real question is, see, because like with this, now I got level 1 and level 2 that I can use in combat, so if I do this, do I get a level 1 jab and a level 2 jab, or is it just automatically a level 2 jab? I don't know. I don't fucking know. <sighs> Not a special points you have available. Uh, uh, that could be helpful, because yeah, I'm using the lightning bolt thing quite a bit. This is Classroom 404. There is nothing here. Is that meant to be a computer joke? 404, nothing here? I don't know. Maybe unintentionally. This is Lab 406. We are attacked by a, a greater slurp and a pair of slurps. Now there we go! See, why can't we have this music all the time? Come on, man. Yeah. yeah. I wonder how many they can engulf at a given time.
reach the third floor, we hear a bang and a clatter. A rosen clatter? Okay. What was that? Something big fell over. Oh, your mom. Okay. I think it came from that storage room. Let's go. We burst through the door to find... Eek! Okay. Heather! You startled me! Heather is the engineering representative of the science club. She's very shy and quiet, gets good grades and everything, except Jim. We heard a crash. Looking around, it's easy to see why. The floor is covered with bits and pieces. An old bucket, a bike handle bar, a graphing calculator, a mob, a broken fan. She's fucking MacGyvering something, I know it! Whatever Heather is doing in here, it certainly made a mess. Did you know there's monsters in the school? I saw them and had to hide, that's why I'm here. I was trying to build a giant robot to fight them, but I can't find enough parts. This isn't enough parts? Not for a mecha! Come on, we're gathering the club to investigate. I can't leave, I haven't built a weapon yet. I don't have the equipment for lasers or a giant robot, but I think I can make a multi-target slingshot. That would help with the holograms. I just need the plans. And the elastic bands. Why would you need plans for... You know what, never mind, whatever. I left them on the fifth floor somewhere. Could you go get them, please? What? Man! Alright. Uh, nothing here. Nothing here. Oh. Nothing here. This is room 501. It's a classroom. We were attacked by a rude head! Whoa, that's some interesting music. Yep, it goes nowhere. It goes nowhere, folks! Alright. Right. We are attacked by a trio of root heads! Okay. Oh god, not this music. Oh. Oh. This music's seriously gonna give me a fucking headache. I'm sure you're feeling something similar. Zappa zappa! Oh boy. Yeah. Get him. Aha! Right. Uh -huh. There are the plans! I scoop up some papers for getting something! She picks up a triplet of gleaming bands. They look heavier than slingshot bands ne should need to be. Got an incomplete slingshot! Okay. Was it third floor? Yeah. Okay. Did you get the plans? Here they are. And the bands, too. Yay! Only three party members can be in the front row at a time. Party members in the back row cannot attack monsters, use special powers, or use items. What? Why? Ugh, whatever. However, monsters cannot usually attack girls in the back row except with area attacks, which is totally fucking fair because they can't fucking do anything from the back goddamn line, even with a long range weapon, you know, like a slingshot. Okay, whatever, anyway. And girls in the back row will now generate one SP per round, which is totally fucking helpful since they can't do a goddamn thing in combat. You can switch places with back row girls during combat using the swap command. The girl brought forward will get to take her turn immediately. Okay, so it's kind of like Final Fantasy X. That's good at least. If girls in the front row are knocked out, gr back row girls... <laughs> back row girls... Okay. We'll step forward to replace them. Okay. Uh, slap the shit out of him. Uh, I mean, I would say definitely on the accuracy because she's got that slingshot, so. You know. Okay, let's apply. Good. Okay, here we go. This is room 306. Found a coffee! Alright. I'll go with my donut. This is Classroom 302. They were attacked by a pair of drive vines and a grassy knoll. Yeah! 
fucking doo doo doot! I'm telling you, man! Doo doo doot! It's the wave of the future! Is this guy shedding a fucking leaf? That's what it looks like. Die! Nope. He's probably close to death, though. Swap. Yeah, do it. Eh, that was weak. There we go. Lock a lock a lock. Come on, there you go. I need to adjust the fucking. Bitch! Oh my god. Did they, I mean... Did they listen to this music and go, Yeah, catchy, catchy as shit! I mean, come on, man. Fucking try with me here. <sighs> this is the door to the music room, but it won't open. That's because you got a knock before entering. It says so right there. You think the teacher's locked it for the night? Maybe we can skip this room. No, I hear something moving inside. Hello? Is anyone in there? There's no response. I took at the door, but it's locked tight. Does anyone know how to pick clocks? Huh? Oh, you don't need to pick it. All you have to do is remove these screws and take off the cover. Well, I guess. Oh, I think she means that. Then you can push open the latch from inside the lock. She fiddles around with some metal bits. Okay, it's open. We charge into the music room! It's Mr. Painsley, the band director! Look at this motherfucker! He looks like Wily if he was a bigger fucking egghead. What the hell? Act! Go away! You'll attract monsters! Heather closes the door behind us. What are you doing? Get out! We thought there might be a monster in here or someone injured. No, I was perfectly safe in here until you came along, but now there will be monsters in here when they follow you in. Sorry, I'll fix it! Heather opens the door wide and kneels in front of him. What are you doing? Now come in! Heather hunches her shoulders and tries to look small while she reattaches the doorknob. She is fixing the door. Wish she could do faster if you're not yelling at her. Yeah, Mr. Man! Now I'm sorry, it's just that with you in here, the monsters will come all over the place. Yeah. Then we'll fight them like we have been. But what makes you think they'll come in come just because we're here? This is a school for girls! The monsters came here, therefore, they're looking for girls! And then why haven't we seen any tentacle monsters? What? You don't know that! This place could have been chosen completely at random, just like the plot of this game. If they attack several schools, that might mean something. We only know of one attack, and that's not enough data to draw conclusions. Everyone knows monsters love school girls. They've been chasing girls around. They've ignored they ignore me long enough for me to hide. Therefore, they're attracted to girls. Okay. Matter finishes reattaching the doorknob and hides sheepishly from behind the coal. Just because you were able to hide doesn't mean the monsters only chase girls. And anyhow, Heather shyly interrupts. I was able to hide too. What do we have in common? You aren't really a boy or something? No! If you saw a cat chasing a mouse, would you assume the cats are interested in anything but mice? Besides, that's different. Everyone knows the cats don't only eat mice. Anyway, as I've been trying to say, they were attacking Mr. Briar, and I don't think he's a girl. Not with that mustache. Oh, dear. He checks the door to make sure that it's locked. I have it. I know what you have in common with Dave. Dave? Mr. Briar. Oh. He's always chattering away on his cell phone. The girls are gossipy and often use cell phones. Ah! No, it makes perfect sense. I keep my phone turned off at work so they wouldn't go after me. 
Look, just because two things are both true does not mean that one causes the other. Yeah, causation does not equal correlation. We know fucking statistics, Jesus Christ. For all we know, they're scared of pants, or cellists, or they just didn't notice you. No, it's definitely the phones, but my phone's in my locker. Yes, but you're a girl. They'd expect you to have a cell phone. Ah! Nicole goes off, fuming to stare out the window. Should we call for help? You can't do that, you'll attract the monsters. If they're attracted to cell phones. But they are. And I want you young ladies out of here before you attract the monsters. Jennifer rolls her eyes. Whatever. Who are you gonna call? The police? No! Ghostbusters, motherfucker! Maybe. Do you think they'll believe us? Uh, the university then. And have someone else get to do the first papers on these monsters? No way! That was the dumbest fucking dialogue. I am automatically stupider for having to go through- oh my- oh my god. Oh my god! Hanako Games, what the fuck are you doing? <sighs> Alright. This is room 303. It used to be the computer lab before it was remodeled. Now, it's the Lumputer Cab. We are packed by a pair of trivides. Yeah. Okay. Punch! Alright. Heal yourself, bitch. Oh man, I should've healed Heather. I didn't even see that. Fuck. Come on. They don't even animate. They just kinda... Ugh. Ugh. And don't tell me, well, that that was just too much for me to do. No, come on. They animated the girls. They can animate the monsters, too. She needs some of that SP back. Yeah. Oh boy. Swap. Yeah. There we go. Slap! This is room 305, there is nothing here. Okay. Uh, let's go down. This is the second floor of West Stairwell, there is nothing here. Finally, no monsters! Maybe we've gotten them all! Something falls from overhead. Yeah. Is that a banana spider? What the fuck is that thing? So it's like something a, a fucking five-year-old drew, and they're like, Yeah! Yeah, that looks like a good monster design, we'll use that. Come on, man! Come on, man! Just... It, oh my god, it is a banana spider. I'm a fucking genius! Ah! This game's starting to aggravate me! That first aid. Oh, good. It recovered her condition, too. Uh, well, that's sucky. Yep. Yay. Now she needs to go to the back line again. Jesus! What's with this layout? Fucking hell. Alright, so... Uh, affirmation. Well, yeah, that's right, she said she was psychology. Okay. I don't care. I'm not using these. Seriously. 
Uh, she really hasn't needed to be healed very much, has she? This is how I typically level up if they give me stat points. I think about that particular person's weaknesses. I try to capitalize on their strengths, but also eliminate any weaknesses they have. So, um, definitely don't need any of this. I mean, holy fuck, dude. Evasion's not bad. Uh, that's not bad either, really, I guess. Punch. Yeah, there you go. Yennefa. Right, I haven't been using level 2 of it. In fact, I feel really dumb for getting level 2 of it. A painful attack, which... With a chance to stun the enemy. Well, no, she's kind of my healer, so I'm not going to do that. Um... Yeah, let's get better at kicking the shit out of people. There you go. Alright. This is room 201. We are attacked by a pair of plum bobs. What? Plum Bob Square Pants, okay. Plum Bob. Fuck. This looks like the eggplant wizard from fucking Kid Icarus. Oh my god, it's gonna litter up the whole fucking screen with commands, isn't it? It's so dumb. Alright. No, oh, Peach! Let's try it. Zap it. Well, I mean, if you're just gonna die, I mean, whatever. Right? Zap! Bitch! Oh, what? Uh, no, no dialogue about how, oh no, those can't be plants, they're plum bobs. Come on. You're failing me here. This is the nurse's office. I bet we can find a lot of useful stuff here. Bandages, medicines, even scalpels. Hey, you can't just barge in and take stuff. These supplies are for emergencies. This isn't an emergency? We're under attack by aliens. Isn't that an emergency? Oh my god, I'm a prophet. Uh, oh, I can't remember who said what. This is, okay. Nicole's right. We're fighting to save the school. We deserve all the help we can get. Humph. I look around, but most of the supplies appear to be locked up in drawers or cabinets. Well, the one girl could probably fucking break into that shit. Let's do it. Heather, can you get these open? I, I don't think I should. Ha! You tell them. Come on, just open it. Please don't fight. If I don't step in, club morale will totally fall apart. Let's compromise. We take what we need to patch us up if we're badly hurt, but we leave the rest alone. Okay, okay. Jennifer examines our injuries. Heather regains one HP! I think we're strong enough to carry on. Really? Oh, because, yeah, that wasn't fucking- Oh my god, this game! Ah! This is room 205. There is nothing here. Mm -hmm. This is room 206. The computer lab. As we approach, we hear the clattering of a keyboard. Someone's still here. Missy, is that you? Shh! Missy, short for Melissa. It's, it's not really, but okay. Is the computer science representative of our club. She's normally a cheerful and bubbly girl. But now she's scowling at her monitor and stabbing the keys fucking stabbing, right? She must be up to something important. Perhaps she's discovered a way to fight the monsters? Nope, she's probably looking up tentacle porn. What have you found? A purple worm. <sighs> Where? In the corridor around the corner. Okay, everyone get ready. We'll attack it together. Huh? You can't do that. What do you mean? It's not a multiplayer game. Game? Ah. Uh, we crowd around to look at her computer screen. She's not looking at the school at all. It's nothing but a bunch of lines, dots, and letters. Ah, uh, so she's playing, like, ASCII dungeons or something. Oh, she's playing NetHack. Ah, NetHack. Fuck, I should have known that. Jesus Christ, I'm a moron. Missy, do you even know what's going on here? Uh, I'm late for science club again? The school's been invaded by alien plant monsters! <laughs> okay, okay. I'll save my game and come to the meeting. She's not joking. There really are monsters. Even the teachers have been running around and screaming. How did you not notice? Uh, what's that behind you? Are you trying to change the subject? No, really, look! Uh-huh. Oh. I was on the grassy knoll. Nerve pinch. Oh, okay. 
Zeppi. Yeah. Well. Oh, okay, he woke up. Let's try to take this dude out. Wow! Some good fucking damage. It's not bad either. Learn spam. I don't think they mean the meat. That's it. There's no more. I mean, it's not even a proper introduction, really, is it? <sighs> sweep. What? She does a, ra a leg sweep or something? Sweep the leg, Donnie. Risk analysis. Uh, no. A flurry of small blows damage your opponent faster than it can dodge. I mean, that could be okay. We'll, we'll, you know, give it a shot, I guess. Milkshakes, anime, millipedes. Kind of sounds like a band, doesn't it? All right. Let's make her a super attacker. There we go. And... You know what? Uh, let's, uh, let's do this. Who has... Okay, punch three. Three. One. All right, that's why she's so fucking weak. Okay, so we should have Sajia, Jennifer, and Missy in the front line. Yeah, that'll work. Um, I I'm not trying to determine the order. Are you, are you serious? <sighs> oh my god. This game is broken. This is the bridge connecting the school to the junior school. We are attacked by a spit and slurp and a pendant of slurp seedlings. Oh, what fresh hell is this? Right. Let's, uh, well, I want her to stay in the front line. Oh, boy. Yeah, we're gonna do Heather first, so that we can do the slingshot. There we go. Oh, shit! That's not good. Well, I mean, I can't really do much. I gotta keep using the better slingshot, you know? Seriously, that's ridiculous. <laughs> Fucking Jesus Christ! All right, good. That's that'll that's something. Speak the slurp. Kind of sounds like a weird section. Swap with Missy! Kick the shit out of him! Did that cost 2 SP? Why? Ugh. Oh wow, even her basic attack is costing 2 SP. I wonder if it's because it's the level or something. That's annoying. Whatever. It's not that big of a deal, it's just kind of annoying as well. ever think this was decent music. I mean, for fuck's sake, man. Uh-huh. You learned fireball. Because that's physics, bitch! I guess alien spores do grow fast. I wish they weren't so cute. What's cute about an evil plant monster? The little eyes! Scorpions are way cuter. They glow under black lights. Scorpions are uh, pretty cool. Pretty cool, but if one attacks us, we'll still have to fight. 
Unless we can tame it and get it on our side, this is not Shin Megami Tensei. Maybe you can find a giant scorpion and ride it! She's got the right idea. Let's keep moving. There is an acrid smell in the air, like someone spilled cleaning fluid everywhere. But that puddle of green ooze doesn't look like cleaning fluid, and there are more up ahead. What is that stuff? It looks like it might be some sort of acid. We should ask Andrea what to do about it. The puddle of slime fizzes slightly at the edges. No. Can't go there, then. Okay. Well, let's see. Mm. If I'm mostly using her for the fucking special attacks, then it would be good to have more special available, so... Cost is 11. Yeah, let's up this. There we go. This is room 202. There is nothing here. Uh, that was entertaining. Uh, this is the second floor. Okay, let's go down. Everyone be ready! For what? Every time we go downstairs, we get attacked by monsters. Uh, but there's nothing here. Don't say that. You'll jinx it. We'll be fine. This is the first floor east stairwell. There is nothing here. You see? You just have to think positively. Okay, I guess that was their inter idea of a joke. I don't... Fucking... I don't know. This is the gymnasium. We hear the sound of bounce and bosh! Oh! Okay. Fucking da 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 yourself, bitch. Jesus. Alright, let's, uh... Oh, I know what I can do. I can swap with, uh... Mrs. Glasses here. Yeah, let's do that. Here we go. Yoosh! Yeah, there you go, bitch. It doesn't do a lot of damage, but now I know what's what. Yeah, oh, well, you mirror that, bitch. Alright. Come on. Really? You fucking dodged. Motherfucker. Mirror. Jesus, come on. Quit fucking dodging, Jesus Christ, dude. Come on, Jesus! It's fucking stupid is what it is. Yeah! Really? Oh my god, you fucking asshole. Really now? Alright. Really? Come on, man. Dude, quit fucking dodging for fuck's sake, man. It's so annoying. What? Well, then. Take his ass. Okay, good. Just take him out. Or, you 
know, we could we could miss a few more times. That's fun. It's always a fun thing to do. It's just miss over and over and over again. It's the best. It, it really is. It's so awesome. I love it. Yeah. There you go. Egg cage. Egg cage? Egg cage. I... What? Just, wow, dude. This game. Um... Oh, okay. I... Right, I get it! I don't. Fuck. Well, I think that's about enough retardation for me. <sighs> wow. You know, I, I kinda... I had played it for maybe five minutes um, before I started this, and I, I kind of knew what I was getting into. I kind of remembered it, but I was like, oh, yeah, yeah, that was that game with those uh, those girls that did, did all that fucking science talk, and they were in a school, and there's, like, monsters and stuff, and I remember it being kind of boring, but eh, we'll play it. We'll, we'll go ahead and do it. Yeah, we'll do it for our back-to-school special. That sounds like fun. Yeah, fun. That's, that's, uh, sure, I mean... Man, it, it wow, it was it was definitely that. I got to tell you. <sighs> Jesus Christ, that fucking game. Okay. Well, anyway, we've been playing Science Girls for my back to school special. As always, this is your host Gun Sage, and I certainly hope you've enjoyed and you stay awesome. Hey guys, thank you once again for watching. You stay awesome. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe, and stay tuned for more videos just like this one.